Hello, all y'all. Well, it is um, time to. Well, maybe not. Not exactly end the game. We still have a few places to go. Or, well, not places really, but a lot of um, a lot of talkie talkies. And uh, yeah, if you see the video title. Um, I'm guessing that if you just open your eyes and look at the image on your screen right now, you'll understand why. Okay, so um, let's just go to the light at the end of the tunnel, shall we? What could possibly go wrong? What? What, what is that? Does it hurt, Tessa? No, but I can't move. Maybe I can do something. Be careful, Core. Core! It worked. Core, are you okay? Of course, no problem. <laughs> You're smoking. It's just a cable wound. I'm not sure I appreciated that joke, but pop culture references are pop culture references. Good on them. Well, we don't really have a whole lot what is else that? we can do. There has to be a way to turn it off. Ah, damn it! Wait. No, Cord, don't. Stop it, Cord. There has to be another way. It doesn't look like it, Tessa. Cord, what are you doing? Wait, there's still one of those things active over there. Yes, one of them. Remember, sometimes you need help from others. But that doesn't mean you should go too far. You won't survive that. You can leave it to the other person to decide how far they should go. Either way, you need to get in there. I am detecting two life signals. It's unpleasant, but unavoidable. Cord, don't! Stay with me! No! Oh, Cord, come on. No, my little friend, you didn't have to do that. Fine. I'm sure you did that for a reason. Thank you. Two life signals, he said. How is that possible? Hmm. Yes. That is a mystery. Two life signals, huh? Life signs? Hmm. Core wouldn't be referring to itself as a. Uh, well, a living entity. But then there's the matter of um, what this would, uh, you know, mean in the overarching uh, interpretation of the story. Hmm. I have an idea that maybe there's some kind of reunification there. Uh, suggesting here that um, uh, Tessa and well someone or something we will meet in here will uh, just join up in some way and become a full identity all memories intact and whatnot mm. I don't know just speculating freely here, but to be fair, this is a story that very much invites that. So, let's milk all that for everything it is worth. About this. So, my uh, analogy to 2001 and the monolith there should uh, basically come home to roost right now, or hit pay dirt or 
pay dirt. Words, whatever. This was a strange but natural feature that was used as a shelter, but this? So, yeah. Didn't expect to see this on Alien Planet, did you? So, something is going on. Also, I don't know if this has any bearing on it, but this circular area and the wood paneling and all, I get so many mist vibes off of this. I, I won't claim or suggest that they are well, that they will mean this to be a sort of reference to mist. Uh, but, uh, well, I hope you can uh, see what, why I, uh, you know, well, would feel that. Also, hey, fireplace. Yeah, the fireplace in mist is kind of iconic, isn't it? And I'm just putting something on the floor right now. Which is why my voice is moving around a bit. Um, right. Library. Let's just have a sit down. I used to read in one of these a lot. It stood in that old house that belonged to Anthony's parents. Finn often sat on my lap and I read stories to him. Now, I'm going completely insane. <laughs> nah, you just entered the monolith. If you watch 2001, crazy things happen. What is that? This thing looks like me. Well, it looks like you if you were playing Planescape Torment. But you're not. So what is this? No. Oh. It is a phantom. But of course. It feels like happiness. It's scary, but it also feels so familiar. What was that? Oh. Well, you, was, you weren't expecting that from the library, were you? So, if you paid attention to the animation, that in itself... It does suggest a thing. Did kind of look like she was whirling, out, whirling uh, around a baby, didn't she? Oh. Uh, that, yeah, that's how words work, right? Well, anyway, stick a pin in that. Try to recognize it when we get to the uh, next bits. And uh, let's get this show rolling at some pro prodigious length. Tony? Oh, there you are. I've been waiting for you. You okay? I know. I had to work longer. An important project had to be finished today. What? Is that me? I see. Well, our little man is still awake and refusing to sleep. 
I know it's my evening, but I think he'd like you to read him the story. Oh, uh, yes, of course. I'd love to, but I'm just so tired. I promise I'll come home soon. It's okay. I understand. Too bad he can't. I'd be grumpy too. My only problem was the wrong person taking me to bed. Right, Finn? I can't not stay home. I've been reading all day long. I think I'd fall asleep before him. Okay, Tessa. I understand. I'll take him to bed with me. Yes. I'm sorry. But yes, fine. I'll sleep in the spare bed. Thanks. Good night. This isn't real. I'm in our old house. This was years ago. Back on Earth. Please, Anthony, please open up. It's me. Tony! Ben! I vaguely remember. I was working overtime, but I don't remember why. I remember I had to read a time, and even had to take eye drops to relieve the strain. Field reports, maybe? No traditions? But what's this here? Honey, we have to get going. See you this evening. Come on, we're late. Tits grow up fast, don't they? You know, time doesn't really work the way you what? think here. Where are they? Why is Finn so old all of a sudden? Hello? I'm losing my mind. No, that's not quite it. But uh, we will get to that in the ending. Now let's see if you have anything to say for yourself. Or baby whirling. And now we have door number nine. I don't know if these numbers mean anything. Hello, just hold on a few minutes, a little. Uh, personal, personal information. No? That's not it. No. 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 And no. Hmm. And there's nothing to do with this. Okay, never mind. Uh, the numbers might not be significant at all. But it is a little strange to me that you would start on 2 and then go on to 9. I don't know. Is the game just being weird at me? Where am I now? Uh. And uh. <laughs> I would say that the answer to that question is unequivocally yes, but maybe not for the reason I was suggesting. On that computer. Shambhala Group Inc. Publishing Company. Lead Editor. Tessa Carter? What? I don't understand. There's a document. It says Melissa Luna. But I can't touch anything. Oh, damn it. Hey, honey, I know I'm late. I'll head out in a minute. I see. Why are you working so late again? Lots to do. I have to edit a pretty long chapter. Sure. I tried to call you earlier. Guess you haven't listened to your voicemail. No, sorry. Great. Would have been important to me. I'm gonna need my black tie tomorrow. One Mark Barrow. You got it? He's already gone. 
Oh, of course. Because he knows he's got a life besides work. I should have. I just forgot. Yes. Fine. But is everything else prepared for tomorrow? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow is... September 29th. 2 p.m. Noah. Oh, I'm sorry. Sure. But you're the lead editor who can postpone meetings and leave whenever she wants. Isn't that what she said? Honey, the funeral is at 2 p.m. 1400. I'll get Finn and take him with me. We'll meet there. Please come. There's a meeting at 11 a.m. I can't postpone it anymore. But it won't take long. I'll be there. Good. Don't make too much noise when you come home. You have one new message. Hey, honey, it's me. I've sent you an email with the pictures for the condolence card. You know, because your printer's better. Please remember to fill out your vacation forms. I have to hand mine in today, but I won't do that until your vacation's been approved. Oh, uh, and most importantly, don't forget the black tie Mark borrowed off me. Okay? Call me back. Condolence card, tie, vacation. Damn, I keep forgetting stuff like this. Secretly writing a book at work might not have been the best idea. <laughs> but just a few more weeks and it's done. You could give me some space, to be honest. No, I remember him. An old colleague of Tony's, a good friend. Anthony was heartbroken when he died. And I didn't even bother writing his funeral into my calendar. Are we having regrets? Soon, like memories. Familiar and clear. I could even remember parts of the conversation. I've never worked in an office like that. Have I? Neither with the IMC nor with the Shambhala group. And the date. Everything is reverberating in my head. September 29th. 2 p.m. 1400. But the year. 2002. Hmm. Yeah. That was not a very spacey office, was it? Lead ed editor too, huh? Ooh, many phantoms. Oh, that's agitation. Phantoms here. What's going on there? I honestly can't tell. Oh, despair, fear, anger. That didn't feel good. That leaves Ghost my Ghost face number three. So, just a random thing here, probably random anyway. Uh, the numbers added <laughs> uh, to the, to the uh, door so far have been a decreasing, uh, well, a sequence of decreasing prime numbers. If that is significant in any way, I have absolutely no effing idea what it could possibly mean or why they would even think of doing it. But let's have a look at the globe while we're down here. With the pin in my hometown. 
That's not something you would find normally on a different planet. So something is not normal. Well, let's look at the books while we're here. Lots of books. No one can read them. Not just the titles, but like I've read them. But they keep up to them. Um So yeah. I have it on good authority that the cutscene that we were going to get, well, I actually wrote that post in the <laughs> note in the uh, walkthrough that I uh, copied off the in-game walkthrough. Uh, this cutscene is going to be very long, so I think I will save it for next episode. So yeah, I've been dropping every kind of hint that uh, something here is not what it seems and uh, uh, this spacey attire is um, maybe not the truth stay tuned everyone this has been um, without a doubt the most ambitious single piece of storytelling in animation arts history. I appreciate it, I very much do, but I must also note that uh, when Kor kicked the bucket back there in the tunnel, I was just not engaged with that at all. I... Uh, yeah. I connect more to like Joey or even uh, like Joey in the Black Bull Chronicle games or I mean even Crispin in uh, uh, Primordia and Primordia was another game I honestly didn't like all that much and uh, I didn't think Crispin was a very good uh, well battle partner either but Crispin was still better than Core. Well, yeah. I wouldn't rate this game a 4 out of 5, but it definitely is closer to a 4 than a 3. Uh, yeah. Let's see. How long can we expect the game to last after this? Oh, yeah, rather a while. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not scrolling past that, you know, stuff to do. I'm just uh, uh, looking through a list here of something really different. But, yeah, once we get to the meeting and clear it, that will pretty much be GG. When we get to a meeting, you will know that we are at the final boss. Stay tuned.